Hey guys, this is Chris again, coming at you with another video. I have in front of me on the desk, I have a box from Boxing here. Quick wristwatch check. I'm wearing that boulder, the Expedition. I still got to do a review on this guy. Look for that coming up either tomorrow, possibly Sunday. Depends on when I can get to it. But this is um, kind of my collection coming in full circle again because those of you that follow me from the beginning know that one of my first videos was a Squally 1521. And I had stupidly, for stupid reasons, gotten rid of it. And this is a more rare orange style version. Which, as you guys know, I, I love orange watches, being a Clemson fan. I mean, orange and purple, two of my favorite colors, besides blue. But, um, as I said, this is kind of my, my collection coming in full circle. Because it was my first Swiss watch, was a Squally, about three years ago. When I ser first seriously started getting into the hobby, I, I had gotten the Squally, and then I got the Tudor. And like I said, stupidly, I would gotten rid of the Squally 1521. I love that watch. I may end up picking up another polished blue one at some point because they are great watches, regardless of the people that are the haters. This is me following my own advice on going for buy what you love, love what you buy. If you guys remember seeing that that video, it doesn't matter what other people think. Just if you, if you like the watch, just go ahead and get it. it. Doesn't matter cost, whatever. If you can afford it, and like I said, this is um, me following my own advice on that. And no, I did not buy it. I ended up trading it. I did a trade with my Mule Glow Suta. On watch you seek I had another trade watch you seek trade come across my desk and this is probably one that will stay because like I said I do miss the blue squally and this one I forgot how comfortable these really do wear and like I said um anyways we'll go to the desktop and do a quick unboxing here is the box in question as you can tell this is a used piece this is one of their discontinued 1521s I'm not sure exactly the year but I think it was 2000s when this came out let me know guys down there you guys know but i do know this is one of the harder ones to find and that that's something you can't expect that you, you can tell it was sitting in his closet for a while the box anyways but the watch came out immaculate still looks brand new as you guys will see here in a little bit you guys you know i already unboxed it take this off here you see the the squally logo there too they do like putting their logo on everything and then here is the watch in question. Came with this pretty cool NATO strap here. You can see this is the orange dial 1521. Perfect fitting for my collection. It's, like I said, you know I like orange. This is the same dimensions as the 1521, so that's why I say this is a, a re review. Of course, that 42 millimeters, it's got 20 millimeter lugs. And like I said, he added this orange and blue NATO strap, which is a pretty cool NATO strap. It came with, of course, the instruction manual. And as you know, the stock leather strap that came with all squallies, or comes with all squallies. And this is something I had never seen, the, the, the hang tag for the squally, which is pretty cool. But basically, on to the watch. This watch, like I said, is pretty killer this orange is a little different orange you can see it's got the stamp squally there it is a 500 meter water resistant being a dive watch it has that at a 28 24 movement which is really solid workhorse movement one of the reasons i feel like these watches are really great value to be had especially now this one i believe brand new might have retailed back in the day for about 1200 somewhere around there i know the new the blue one that i got is about 850 900 and this does have a nice little orange colorway here in between the 12 and in between the 3 o'clock here which is pretty nice of course it has a date window just like on all the squads the only difference on the hands if you'll notice right here on the minute hand most of the 1521s the blue ones and the black ones anyways have that orange worn around the hour hand this one doesn't of course it, it wouldn't contrast with the dial being an orange dial this has more of that vintage vibe I feel like that 70s vintage vibe that Squally was famous for. And as you can see, it's got the black going around the outer bezel. And as I mentioned, mixed in with an orange tint. I feel like that's a nice little touch. Clean look. Let me take the boulder off and show you guys what this looks like on my 7.5 inch wrist. This, even though the 42 millimeters, the cushion style case, I feel like wears. A little bit better than most of your bigger watches wear. 
don't let that 42 millimeter size throw you guys off. Another little cool touch I'll show you here in a second once I get this watch on is this one comes with a dome sapphire crystal the regular 1521s I don't know if you can kind of see that there but it's got that dome sapphire crystal which I think is a pretty cool touch the regular 1521s I don't believe if I remember correct do not come with that dome sapphire crystal correct me if I'm wrong down there guys like I said there's that orange this is kind of similar to Doc's orange if you know, they, they had done cases back in the day for Doxa and Blancfon. So a lot of history with Dive Watch. Speaking of which, I do have a Dive Watch book that I ordered coming on the way. Pretty interested to see that off of Amazon. I'll show it to you guys when I get it in. But, of course, it's got the Squally here. And then it's got the Squally logo down there. And if you guys know more about this, let me know. Like I said, I'm not sure exactly how many were made. I don't think this is a rare, real rare one. But I do know these are hard to find now. Anyways, guys, this has been Chris with Squally1521 Re Review. Revisit, shall we say. Let me know what you think down in the comments. If you haven't already, like, subscribe. I know this is a divisive watch because of what it is. But like I said, if, if you really want one, who cares what everybody else thinks? I'm a dive watch guy. This fits the budget. And I, I really missed it, so I, I like it. More than likely, it's going to stay around this time. All right, guys. Peace.